It's Baby and Mary, we know you have been waiting So here's another podcast about movies Burn After Watching Welcome to the Burn After Watching Podcast I'm Borderland And I'm Mary And this week we are talking about Long Legs The scariest movie of all time apparently It will be discussed <laughs> Uh, before we get started, if you have not subscribed yet, or whatever, where you're listening to us, if you have not clicked the follow, subscribe, like button, button. do it now. It Please. costs nothing, and uh, it's fun. You're going to get more content from us. A lot of cool things coming for us. Yes. In the fall, we're doing some cool October horror podcast team episode. We're working on that right now. It's going to be really cool. Also... This will be a spoiler episode. We're yeah. only talking about long legs this week. And I think it's just enough to talk about. It's a quite a dividing film, yeah. perhaps, yeah. Um, at least for us. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be talking at length about all the twist and turn of the film. So if you haven't seen it and if, or if you care, um, just maybe wait until you've seen it to discuss it and come back. Yeah. But let's get started. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I don't know where to start. With all right. So, so first of all. Hosgood Perkins is a director. This is a film from Neon. And I think the biggest reason why we even watch this film is because the marketing is quite good. It's a really good marketing campaign. They had really creepy trailers. They had a lot of like billboard too, where like they would put a phone number you would call yeah. and you would hear long legs singing <laughs> happy birthday and stuff like that. That was cool. Really cool, really cool. inventive, really cool that Neon did all of this. And like when you think about like getting a, a movie and like taking or doing the most with what you have, like I think that's a great example. So kudos to them. I, I saw that this movie is already the biggest movie for Neon of all time. Wow. And they are the one that released Parasite in the US. Okay. And this movie already made more money than Parasite in the US when it came out originally. Wow, that's um, crazy. So congrats to them. And I think why we were intrigued as well is because we love a good, yeah, we love a good police investigation, crime, like kind of crime, mysterious. Thriller. Yeah, it was very mysterious. Yeah, and I don't like horror. You don't. But if it's more thriller with yeah. some horror, I'm fine. Like mm -hmm. Zodiac, great film. Seven, great film. Silence of the Lamb, great oh film. Oh my God, yes. And this, this marketing campaign was really pushing this idea that this was one of the scariest movie of the decade. Yeah. And one of the like since I even read since Silence of the Lamb, which yeah. is like the nineteen ninety something. Yeah. So they were th there was this comparison where like it was as good as Silence of the Lamb in the marketing. Obviously, this is a quote from a critic. Yeah. But they decided to use this as like here's what how we want to describe people, a film to yeah. you, mm -hmm. and obviously it worked because there's a there was a lot of hype. Oh yeah. And they got us into the theater. I I don't think we would have expected to go see that movie normally. No, I don't love Nicolas Cage. He's, uh, he's fine. He's fine. He's but... good. He's bad. Like everybody knows. It's hit or miss. Yeah. Um, but we like him in Dream Scenario. He was really good yeah, in Dream Scenario good. last year. Even in Pig, he wasn't bad. It was a little subdued though. Like yeah. his character was very quiet, but mm -hmm. he did a good job. Yeah. Um, so maybe we can start with the beginning of the movie. Yeah. So the first scene of the movie we get to see a little girl who's watching out who she's looking outside and then she she there's a car coming she goes outside and the first time we ever see long legs is like his white suit in the snow and only his nose and mouth and that to me was so cool and so creepy yep. i was immediately intrigued yeah really good opening I was really yeah. excited. It seems like it was going for that creepy, unsettling vibe. Yeah. And it really did well. Mm -hmm. Even though they started with, with uh, chaptering, which not a big you fan. Don't love. But I thought, okay, okay. Like, this is what I was expecting. Yeah. And I think as soon as this scene ended, we started to go down. Yeah. <laughs> it started to nosedive. Well. Because we basically meet this little girl is now... It's played by uh, Maika, Maika Monroe. I think that's how you pronounce her name. She's the main girl. She's the FBI agent. Yep. And I mean, I don't love Nicolas Cage's performance in this. It's good sometime. 
most of the time I it's way too too quirky weird. I didn't mind it. I thought it was different. Like I really loved the suit he was wearing, like the whole the white suit. Yeah. And I thought like all the the makeup done on his face was very realistic. It was yeah. really cool. Visually. And that to me was different, intriguing, interesting. I had no problem with that. But the performance. It was like a seven out of ten. Oh, not for me, it's a five. It's oh, right yeah. in the middle. Okay. I, I think he was trying too hard to be weird. It's kind of Joker. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's both Joaquin Phoenix and Heath Ledger Joker kind yeah. of mixed together mm-hmm. with some classic Nicolas Cage weird stuff. Yeah. And it, for me, it takes away because this, even though with the twist, it's probably a little bit more digestible mm-hmm. because it's supposed to be a bit like ethereal. Um, I still think that it doesn't work for me. And the main girl, Mayka Monroe, I, I know her character is supposed to be pretty much antisocial, uh, very reserved. much reserved. Yeah. But the performance was was a block of granite, like n- way too like no emotion. Yeah. It was really hard to care for her. Like I, I was like, I, I agree. I wouldn't care if she died. Like it's just whatever. Like. <laughs> Like I it just I, I had no attachment to her. There was yeah. nothing for me to hold on. Mm-hmm. Like a relationship with a mother is kind of weird, but it's not like I care for her. Also, she makes a lot of stupid decision. So I'm I'm just kind of like, why am I supposed to like who am I supposed to care about in this film? Even when she goes in the um, the room of the little girl, because yeah. the little girl wants to show her her room. It's like. Not a lot of people would act like that with especially a little girl who's yeah. showing you her room. Like, it was just awkward to be awkward. It was forced. And it, yeah, it came off as forced. Like, oh, look how like, uh, yeah. like antisocial how and, uh, and yeah. you know, dysfunctional she is. She can't even interact properly with a little girl. Just a little girl. It's like everybody yeah. know that you just, would just be, even though uh, you don't like cute kids. Cute room or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I wish like she was a little bit more. It was funny. The way that they present yeah. the scene, like it made me At laugh. At first it was funny, but then... Eventually it's like, all right. Yeah. Um, you're just being an ass. Yeah, like you're also you're a police officer. Yes. Like you've been trained to, to, to like, you know, be with people. Yeah. Because you have to deal with people. You're a police person. You're an FBI agent. Like yeah. You, you're going to deal with people and they, they're going to want you to deal in a... Especially, in a positive way. And especially it's the daughter of her boss. Yeah. Like you would make it extra, you know. Effort. And her boss has no problem with her, the way she's acting with her. I like, know. I would be creeped out if I was a child. This this weird woman is in my room. Like why would you even want her in your room in the first place? Well, I th- anyways, she felt forced to go and she went. But whatever. Um, maybe we can talk about the, the whole like investigation. How it starts. and Yeah. So long legs. When the movie starts, there's already a bunch of murder that already happened. They've and been happening for years. Yeah. And it, it stated at the, the beginning, basically, that it seems like the, the FBI is stuck. They don't know where to go. And that's why this uh, this FBI agent is coming in to help because she has... Like intuition. Intuition that stuff is happening or whatever. It seems like they're just like, yeah, do, any solution at this point, like we need to like find a way to solve it. And it stated that there's no DNA... There's yeah. no sign of entry. They have no like no sign that anybody ever entered a house as if it was a murder suicide situation. Yeah, exactly. Um and it's always families, like a whole family dying. The the father killing everybody and committing suicide. And there's always a little girl and their birthday are all the same. Yeah. Right? So that's what we know. Mm-hmm. And I think for me at least, when you're gonna if you want me to care about a crime investigation type of film, you need to give me hints and clues and you have to give me a, a path for me to figuring out the investigation. To by be myself. part of the investigation. Yeah. And yeah. it doesn't have to be easy, but I'm just saying like if the character is able to solve something, but there was no way for us to solve that, then it's just like the movie needed to be solved. So yeah. it, it get it solved. It's not actually like a well construct right. script. That, and that's what happened here. Yeah. She solves a bunch of things like her colleagues, her colleague gets killed and she says to him, I'm sure he's in there. He gets shot. So she takes over the investigation and rapidly in like the 20 or 30 first minutes, she figures out a bunch of things. Well, I mean, the first thing is that the 
the long legs killer le- leave like notes in like this weird alphabet, it's like cryptic. Yeah. Its own alphabet, basically. Mm-hmm. And nobody is able to figure it out. She's not able to figure it out. No. The long legs killer come to her house in a stupid scene where she just like walk around outside for no reason. It, it, like that, that scene That's is creepy. well shot. Yeah, I it's agree. It's creepy. A lot of time you see her in the front in the front of the, the shot. She's yeah. at the desk. And then there's a lot of like back end yeah. space just left empty. Mm-hmm. And all you do is looking at it and think like something's going to pop yeah. out. And she's on the phone with her mom. Yeah. And, and it, it's very well done. This yeah, entire cool. sequence. Yeah. And then some, she hears someone knock at the door. Yeah. Take her gun. And she goes outside. But I felt like I was in the movie Scream. I was like, no <laughs> one would go outside. And then you said, oh, well, she's an but FBI she's an agent. agent. Maybe with her gun. I, I think like as an agent, you wouldn't be as scared because like that's your job. Uh, but I, I agree you, with you, you that it's... expose yourself. Like you don't know how many people there are. There is uh, like who... For me, no. what's dumb is that she leave the door open behind her. Yeah, because... And go really far needed, away from the house. And they need... Because that whole scene is just because they need to get the envelope on her desk. Yeah. And so they said, well, let's make her go outside. So basically long leg <laughs> leave, or we assume or it's someone, him. yeah. Leave a letter that says happy birthday to her, basically. Yeah. And then in the back... It's basically a sentence written in English and then a sentence written in his alphabet. So, like, the, she she doesn't figure out the alphabet. No. She just is given the answer. Yeah. So then... Because he wants her on the case, obviously, because we are going to understand later why yeah. he wants her on the case, especially. Because at first, we kind of don't know. So she really doesn't figure out no. much. Like, this investigation, she's just giving the answer of, to the biggest puzzle within, like, the first 30 minutes. And when you, we see her mom... and and we go to the house, we realize that that's the house from the beginning. Yeah, where but she lives. the whole mom characters to me, like right away, yeah. I was like, okay, she's involved. It, Not it, me. Not for me. me, it feels like it's too weird. Oh, this yeah? character doesn't serve any other purpose than to set up like a, a potential twist. Yeah. And the house and everything that she live in, like even at some point, you see like make a Monroe go to a door that is locked that goes oh, yeah. into a basement. Yeah, and we well, know the long obvious. legs is in the basement. So I was like, well, well okay, he lives there. It's not, a, it's not like, it's so obvious. I thought that this would be a fake twist where like we think yeah. he's there, but it's, it, he's not actually there. But mm-hmm. no, he's actually there. Yeah. So it's like, all right. But like, even like the, um, the police investigation, when she finally goes to interview the only survivor because that girl wasn't home mm-hmm. when the murders happened. And then she goes back to the barn with her boss. And there's like little crosses on the door. And then she follows little crosses upstairs. Like, am I two years old? Like, <laughs> and you have to tell me exactly. Oh, yeah, you're going to understand. You see the crosses on the door. They're also on the wall. And then they go in the attic and there's like just a little bit of hay on the on the floor he's holding this a tool crowbar. oh surprise surprise it's exactly the tool he needs to open like the coffin where they find the doll that i thought was a, a dead child at first yeah but so yeah so that's the point that's the uh, the switch in the story yeah. which made it a at first, I was like, okay, I, I don't Even love... Even the investigation at first, yeah, like, ugh. I was not loving it because it felt very convenient. Mm. And then as soon as the twist happened where, like, now we have dolls, and then there's a real, like, metal ball that is supposed to be, like, the brain of the dolls, I was like, all right, this is taking, like, a, a weird, really oh, yeah. bad turn. Me too. I was like, oh, no. Into the supernatural, ugh. the devil exists, and oh, it's controlling no. and killing people based yeah. on, like, numbers and... Oh, yeah. I was He's like, creating those yeah. dolls, living in the basement of the mom, because basically we learned that she made a pact with him. The so, long legs, yeah. Yeah, long legs. So her daughter could live longer. Uh, I mean... Like not get killed. Not get killed, yeah. But in exchange, she would Hi, deliver... Yeah, are we there yet? Yeah, the sure. Doll? Let's go yeah, she's it. just basically her servant. And she's deliver- she accepted to deliver the dolls. In a baby blue car. Yeah, that makes so little sense. For so many years, for like 20 years, she's uh, delivering the dolls to the families. And then, in a baby blue beetle. Yeah. Like a Volkswagen nobody, beetle. Nobody saw it like in 20 if, years. Yeah, those FBI agents never, like nobody ever mentioned that. Like it's not a, a car that just like 
you know, is blend in. Is incognito, yeah. That's no, no, it. it's so recognizable. Oh my God. And like, as soon as two people have seen it in different crime scene, you would be like, okay, that's the car we're looking for. Yeah. And then the FBI agent mothers have that exact car and nobody figured this out. Yeah, and so she... Uh, also, uh, to also, spare her daughter, she accepts to deliver the dolls. And when the dolls are in the house, then everybody, like the father is crazy. He, The devil is there. He kills his own family and then commits suicide. And she witnesses the killing yeah, she of she stayed the there the entire time. She comes out of the house with the doll in a box full of blood. Nobody ever saw her in 20 years. Takes her baby blue beetle and leaves. For 20 years and nobody ever saw it. No DNA. Also, apparently nowhere. there was no sign of entry. I know. No DNA. This is so But dumb. you have an actual person. She's not the devil. <laughs> right. She's not being controlled by the devil. She just made a pact with long legs yeah. to help him. Yeah. But apparently our DNA is just like... Nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. Nobody ever sees her. Yeah. She's a nun. Like you She's, wouldn't see yeah, I know. A, a full dress gown nun walking the street with a huge wooden box. And she comes out. She's full, full of, of blood. blood. We see her in, a in blue her beetle. car. I, I know this is. It, it's like, the, the, you know, the FBI agent is just are so dumb. So bad I at mean, their job. They can't find that DNA or or no legit. witness. Ever, no one in the neighborhood ever saw it's her. It's just in 20 so years. convenient it's, it's, for the script. It's, it's just like, yeah. we need this to be the story. Yeah. And by the way, when we learn all of that, so the first two, two part of the story, it's just a regular story. You follow the characters and then it becomes like a, let me tell you this story. And then it, there's well, a narration. The mother just tell everything. Well, it's because remember Maika, she goes to see long legs because they capture him. Yeah. And we can talk about that scene after. And he's the one who says to her, why don't you ask your mother? So that's when Meike says, okay, I need to... She goes to see her mother and her mother tells her the whole story. But, but that, that, that's not the issue. The issue is that now we have a narrator just dumping oh, yeah. all the explanation you need for the movie to make sense. Yeah. For like 30 minutes of the... Like she just telling everything that happened. Yeah. It's like your script is so poorly written. Yeah, you have so to... So poorly construction. Yeah. You need to have someone tell, tell the story now. I agree. Like, because, and that's the biggest flag mm -hmm. that this story didn't hold itself. You yeah. could have not figuring out what was the crime investigation without someone telling you exactly what happened. Yeah. It, I guess like the, the twist that is kind of interesting is that even after long legs bangs his head on the desk and commits suicide. Oh, wait, wait. How did he get arrested? Because he went to the tool store. And I Is guess like I we kind of don't know how it happens. He, we just see him with two suitcases, and then four cops just take him in. We kind of don't know what happened. Uh, yeah, I feel like uh, for some reason they find his name or something. Yeah. Maybe. Um. And then yeah, that scene is ridiculous. <laughs> so it, it's shot like a Wes Anderson. It's cool. I uh, like movie. the. I mean, I, I don't like it at all. I, it makes no sense in the film. I know. It's shot where he's he's next to a sign in the middle of a field. Like waiting for the bus. Two suitcases. Yeah. And then you have police car coming from both sides and like like driving a hundred miles an hour and then stopping yeah. at the last second to arrest him. But it's filmed like a naked gun or like type movie, like a comedy. Mm -hmm. it, it it's it's baffling me that they were like, Yeah, that's the vibe we want to go for this horror film. Well, like the scene where your your killer get arrested. Yeah, but I guess the twist here is the fact that we think it's him that's doing it. And then he gets arrested, goes in, and then he talks to the girl, Maika, commits suicide. And she understands now that she, the murders are still going to occur even if he's dead. And she's been saying since the beginning of the film she, um, that he has to have a helper. Even if Long Legs is dead, her mom is still going to serve the devil. We can talk about when Maika goes to the last house where the police officer let the nun, so, her mom, come in. So the FBI boss is, like, and his daughter, yeah. which invited Maika to a birthday party. Yes. So the, she goes to her house to tell him that... She found oh my out. god, I figure out like what the whole investigation is. It's my was. mom, na, na, na. she gets there and her mom is already there. Yes, and it, her boss, the FBI 
director yeah. is already possessed and yeah. is basically straight up saying to her, I'm not going to go kill my wife in the kitchen. Yeah, she does nothing. And she has her gun out. She's looking at, at her does boss. Does she have her own gun out? Yeah. And, or like she's just there frozen. She says nothing. And her boss take his wife yeah. into the kitchen, kill, kill her. her. And she does nothing. She's, yeah, she just stand there for yeah. like five minutes. Why? Why would you not kill him? You know what's gonna happen. I know. But also, why would the, the FBI agent had this whole theory where someone must be let in into the house, mm -hmm. someone that would immediately be trusted to be let into the house? Now you tell me this nun show up to your house. You have a daughter, which was born the date that people need to be born. It's her birthday. And and this nun comes in. You're you the FBI in. agent, and yeah. you let her in. What the fuck? Why would you let her in? I know. It's unbelievable. It makes no sense. I know. It's so dumb. And her reaction is so dumb as well. Finally, like he go he the 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 husband goes to kill um her his wife. his wife. And then he comes back out and I think she She shot him. She, yeah, she shot she shot her mother. Right, exactly. And then they and she it. leaves with the girl. And then the final scene is long legs. long legs with a little wink wing being I'll, I'll be, be back. back what is this well i guess it's kind of the devil doing this or whatever oh but my god it, it was just like so many dumb moments i oh, don't understand I people that like actually like if you like horror film and you like i i can't understand that you're able to say i don't care that the story doesn't make sense i like the vibe and etc how can you not care But like a lot of people are giving this care? like five star review. It's a police investigation that makes There's no so sense. There's so many holes. And a lot of people are saying, oh, it's so great to watch the second time because you get all those little clues. No. What, what clues? All the clues make no mean sense. nothing. I know. The, she doesn't need any clue to solve the anything. Right. And and people comparing her, uh, Maika, to Jodie Foster in Silence of the Lamb, I'm sorry. It's basically just because it's her, two women in FBI. Agent. Right. That's but her, the only thing they have in common. Her performance has nothing no. to do with what Jodie Foster did in Silence of the Lamb. And the story of Silence of the Lamb is so well built. There's absolutely no comparison. I must say, though, that... So the first time we see Long Legs... I thought it was really cool, really yeah. interesting. I love well his costume. I love his makeup, the pr the prosthetic on his face and everything. And I thought there was a lot of potential. Like I like the investigation, like for the 10 first minutes. And then it went, it, it's, it's a mess, honestly. And I wasn't scared. People saying this is the scariest movie. We have to have a chat. It's you, not scary. It's, 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 it's kind of tense. Scary. Yeah, it's tense. And but like it's not you scary. could find it in unsettling if you've yeah. seen very little film. Maybe. maybe, maybe. Like it's not even like it's creepy. Yeah. But it's not unsettling. There's no images that like I've never seen before. Maybe we like I can understand people would say, "Oh, when he bangs his head on the desk, it's but disturbing." It's not but it's not scary. Crazy. It's just he's. It's barely like... It's almost funny to me. Yeah, it was kind of like... Uh, he's, we see him way too much. And Nicolas Cage performance, like... I wish when I we see him, him in the more. middle of the day, driving the car, singing the song. Yeah. Like, that was just like... I understand you want to go for, oh, I'm weird. But like, it, you just sound silly. And yeah. you, you take out all the the, the mystic yeah. out of the, the characters to just see you go to the, the tool shop mm -hmm. to buy like nails or whatever. Mm. And then sing... Uh, I didn't a, mind that. I think it was like a Lou Reed song that he's singing terribly in the car. But it, it's not creepy. It, it's just like in full daylight to see you sing a song is not creepy. It doesn't work. It, yeah. For me, it didn't work at all. I really prefer uh, the villain in No Country for Old Men. Oh, well, yeah. Or Joker. I mean, it's no comparison. Yeah. I, I don't know if people are just falling for the hype. Or they, they want to like the movie so much that they like disregarding all those things. But like there's clearly some really big plot hole and yeah. it's okay if you don't care about the plot hole i know some people don't care about it but even if you don't care about the plot hole why would you care about the first 40 minutes of this film if the investigation make no sense exactly yeah like that's it just don't make her an fbi agent she could just be the same character but not be an fbi agent she could be just like a, a internet detective sleuth person that want to solve the crime because she was kind of part of it when she was young and at least we don't have to be attached to this idea that she know what she's doing when she's investigating because she's not i think you're right i think i would have preferred her 
to just go back in her childhood and realize, you know, that she, I don't know, like it wasn't a bad idea that like she's an FBI agent and at the same time she's es- investigating the crime, she realized that that she's part of it. I like that idea, but yeah. I don't think it was well executed at all. At because all. like the investigation is like her looking at picture, her at the library, and then at some point she put the dates of the people that were murdered, and she draw a triangle. Like, oh my god, it's it's the devil. That's it. Yeah, and plus when she <laughs> goes to the house, and uh, her boss is there, and there's another man there, and they discovered a family. And they've been like there for a month, for a month. Yeah, yeah. And they have like a cover. And then the guy's like, do you think she can handle this? Can she see this? And then we just see the the body with full of worms. Dude, that was to so... Me, that is like unnecessary. Un- so forgettable. I didn't even remember that. Yeah, happened. I know. Yeah. Like there, there's so many forgettable moments that I'm like, I, I'm just a blanket. We, we seen it a, a week ago mm. and like half the movie is just gone. It's, yeah. it, it, what's left is kind of the stupid things that you have to left with like i don't understand people that are like five starring this oh, film or left and right oh me neither and remember when we saw like a few times uh where long legs lives yeah and i hate that they put a red light in his room like in his place it's, it's so obvious like oh it's yeah let's put a red light in the basement Ugh. and like the whole oh uh he's saying happy birthday on the police tape and it's like what else happened on the tape? Oh, nothing. You just do that for like 12 hours. It's yeah. Like, it's not creepy to have like him sing happy birthday for 12 hours. I know. It's, it's cl- so like cliche. Like to show how crazy he is. Oh my God. I know. He's a maniac. I he know. He sings happy birthday for 12 hours. Uh, <laughs> I wish, I so wish it was like more a, a true story. I wish yeah. it never went with the doll thing and the devil. And just a true investigation I understand. Like the long legs um, persona is cool. Yeah, I like cool. it. It's cool. I like the name. I like the the look. I, I wish it was someone else in Nicolas Cage. I feel like I, someone else could have yeah. done a better job for sure. Mm-hmm. Someone could have done a better job. And like, I'm not scared of devil stuff yeah, me neither. and ghosts. Like that's not scary to me. I understand no, me some neither. people do find it scary. Yeah, yeah. So I can't take that away from them. Mm-hmm. But for me, as soon as you go supernatural, oh, it's like all the tension is gone because none of this... Is What's scary true. Yeah. is that when if Long Leg was a serial killer yeah. and everything he was doing was actually something that could happen in real life, that's scary because when I leave the cinema, I'm like, there's a guy like Holy this shit, or a girl yeah. like this that could yeah. be just right across the street from me, yeah. that could be living in the oh, unit yeah. next to me, that could be on the bus with me right now. Yeah. Like, that's scary. Yes. The devil is not and scary. And that's why I love, loved and still love so much Silence of the Lamb because it was Jodie Foster with... Hannibal Lecter giving him giving her clues about Buffalo Bill kidna- kidnapping uh, plus size women to take their hair and their skin to make a costume like that was that is an iconic scary movie like to I, me I, for me it's not scary and it's not my favorite one Science of the Lamb is good but like, it's I, a good investigation at least i prefer zodiac and seven yeah I understand. for me zodiac and seven are yeah. scarier mm-hmm. zodiac is scarier than even seven because it's just a guy stabbing people and like it's not a big scheme thing like seven it's a bit theatrical because of the whole like the seven sin and like to me it feels like it's pushing what a real person would do like obviously like that exists but zodiac well it's based on a true serial killer yeah but like it's very raw. It mm-hmm. feels impulsive. It feels like how people are. They but are impulsive. They not yeah. are they not strategic like this. But I still like the letters and everything. There's an investigation aspect, and I think that the movie is just better made yeah. overall. Like, I don't mind the 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 pact that the mother made with long legs, but I just wish it wasn't about the dolls and it wasn't supernatural. You know, I wish she was protecting her daughter from. I just wish the story was something else. Um, I would, <laughs> I will burn this movie. Big burn for me as well. Yes, and I would give it a two point five. So I came out coming out of the theater. I gave it a three. Yeah, I was saying it's it's a three. It's a three close to three point five. Yeah, that's what's coming r- right off. But yeah. like now, 
it's it's a 2.5 yeah me too and I, yeah i i just don't get and, and any once of you opinion. know like the twist with the mom and the dolls Ugh. so why funny. would you want to rewatch it well, it's so boring I know. also it's not like you can look at the i don't believe that there's actual clue that would have made you but like there's no way for you to figure out the mother no, was no. helping until they tell you that she was helping i i prefer immaculate and immaculate sucks we're going to see Twister 2 this afternoon, and I think Twister is going to be better than oh, 100%, this. Oh, 100%. Man, I'm excited. Apparently, like, they're playing country music the entire time. Oh, yeah? It's all cowboys <laughs> chasing, you know? I feel like it's a, it's going to be vibey. Um, yeah, I think we, we said it all. We said it all. If you have comments, feel free to write uh, to us. We can discuss. If you really think that the investigation makes sense, please like write what makes sense. Yeah, well. maybe we, we, we missed something. I but. don't believe so. I think you're going <laughs> to... I think you're just going to like... It's I mean, like, I mean, well, maybe if you disregard all those are, things, it makes sense. Maybe people sure. are going to realize, you know, yeah, it's not that great. Shout out to Harvey because he believes that the movie sucks as well. Who's Harvey? It's a guy I follow. Hi, Harvey. Thank um, you, everyone, for watching. Subscribe. Yeah. Hate. Hate comments down there. Oh, not too much hate. Be respectful. Yeah. See ya. Gucci. <laughs>